Hey, hey up, Chatter, Chatter gang. gang. There's a lot of new development going off in Blackpool at the minute. And we want to show you what's changed since we were last here because he's Colin. He's Tim and, and together, together we, we are, are the Chatter, Chatter guys. guys. Come on, let's get showing you. This is the Holiday Inn. It's all finished now and open and ready for business. Yeah, we're just, they're just waiting for their tarmac to be put into the uh, car park and also uh, they are testing the trams as well, so very soon you will be able to get a tram from the hotel car park here, which is just behind the train station, and you'll be able to get the tram all the way down onto the promenade. It does look like a fantastic addition to Blackpool that time, doesn't it? It certainly is, and it's a lot better than uh, what greeted you before, that old, run-down old car park. You arrive here by train, this is the first thing that you're going to see. Yeah, it does look spectacular. So this is what will greet you now when you come out of the train station in Blackpool. Across the Pelican Cross in there, and you'll come to the new tram station entrance. Here we are outside of the new uh, office for the Department of Works and Pensions in Blackpool. Yeah, this uh, seems to have shot up overnight. If you think how long the Holiday Inn was under construction, this one looks like it's nearly finished, certainly on the outside. Yeah, they've got all the external works almost done. Uh, they've got the uh, electrics connected. And before you know it, there'll be people in there sending you your tax bills out. Indeed. Up to 4,000 people will be uh, coming to this building. If you do want to see more videos of this build, then our friend Colin filmed some progress updates on his channel, The Seaside. As part of the new £300 million development, uh, behind us here you'll see the Chapel Street car park, which is due to close from the 2nd of June. Uh, this is due to be demolished, uh, as well as the police station, and in its place is the new Blackpool Central car park. It's easy enough to find where the car park is. As you come off the motorway, you drive along Seasiders Way and eventually it'll bring you right up to the car park so you don't have to drive into the town centre. Uh, this is an attraction that's opened up in spring of this year. This is the Shaw Town, the Museum of Fun and Entertainment of Blackpool. We're not going inside there today, but if you want to see what it's like, please check out Colin's Seasider channel on YouTube, and he'll show you what's going on there. Coming away from the Showtime Museum, we're going to walk up to Blackpool's new cinema and show you that. Yeah, come on, let's walk with us uh, through Blackpool. I thought we were, I thought we were in Benidorm back then. <laughs> It is getting more and more like it here. It's a bit more cooler today than what it was uh, yesterday, which was the hottest day of the year. Oh, it was lovely yesterday. It's still very nice today though, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, I would imagine today's in 15 maybe. Uh, probably a bit more warmer than that, I would say, because it's quite breezy yeah. as well today. We've just been recognised, haven't we? We have, by Pam. It's lovely to see her, she gave us a nice hug. Yeah, nice to see you Pam. I hope you're enjoying Blackpool. Actually, oh, so just checking the temperature, it says it's 21. Oh, wow. I win that one then. <laughs> <laughs> not been to the comedy club for a while, have we? No, no, we've not. It's one of our, uh, definitely a good place to recommend as oh, a comedy club. Yeah, we never had a bad night in there. No. And an eating establishment we've not tried yet, have we, the Greedy Pig? Yeah, that's in somewhere else that's quite new, open this year. Yeah. Oh, well, I think it was the latter part of last year when it opened. Oh, well, maybe you're right. Uh, yeah. It used to be KFC, I believe. Yeah. And let's walk up here. There is a spectacular winter gardens. Wow. 
side of it you've got Houndsville Shopping Centre. Yeah. Uh, there's lot, and there's hardly any vacant shops in Houndsville, is there? No, that's surprising, isn't it? A lot of shopping centres these days have got a good proportion of them empty. Yeah. Not in Blackpool. There's a, a decent choice of uh, cafes down here as well. You've got Starbucks, Nero, and then you've got sort of a more independent one next door to it, aren't you? Yes. been very busy in Blackpool this weekend. Mmm, it has. Definitely the good weather's brought a lot of people out, I think. Yeah. If you're a collector of memorabilia, then Goldstar uh, does have a lot of memorabilia uh, things to buy. Yep. Oh, I keep promising a show at the theatre, don't we, but we do. We've not done one yet. The stage door entrance. That place looks always looks tempting with the food in the windows, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. They've finally knocked down the nail shop. Yes. I don't, went know, up what's, in, I don't know what's going to go in its place there. Yeah, it went up in flames. Was it a couple of years ago, 18 months ago, yeah. something like that? Another Elma. There's a lot of these, aren't there? Yeah, there's a big exhibition of Elmas and they're raising money for uh, Brian House Children's Hospice. They've all been coloured by the local schools. And you'll see them all over Blackpool, don't you? Mm. So we're going to go down here to show you the uh, Black House cinema. Which is now Blackpool's only, only cinema, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it's a big one. We've not been in because uh, we don't go to pictures a lot now, do we? We don't really. And this is definitely a place to come when the weather's bad. <laughs> yeah. Stephen's been on from Walk on the Wild Side. Uh, yeah. Uh, and he said the acoustics and the sound system is unbelievable in there. Yeah, he's got he's got a video out on YouTube, hasn't he, on the inside. So yeah. if you want to see what it's like in there, check out Walk on the Wild Side. Walk on the Wild Side, yeah. He's one of he's one of another one of our favourite YouTubers, isn't he? He is. So you've got the diner as well as the cinema. The diner's on the uh, downstairs. Apparently, they do really good food in there as well. We should definitely do a review there. Yes, we will next time. Originally, of course, that was going to be a Wilkinson's store. We'll, unfortunately, that uh, went south, didn't it? But I think a diner fits in more with it being a cinema upstairs. Yeah, and you know, I think. Uh, it's separate to the shops as well, it's separate to the rest of the shops and I think yes. for people to come round here to go to Woolcars, I think this is a much better option. I do. It 
it looks uh, an amazing building. And a good new attraction to Blackpool. Indeed. We hope you've enjoyed seeing what's new in Blackpool with us. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, then please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely not. Out. Thanks for watching, Chassis Gang. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye bye. And this is the. Um, <laughs> it's part of the uh, new £300. Uh, <laughs> this is another uh, attraction. Uh, <laughs>